triple C. I'm gonna make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. What's up, everybody? Henry Cejudo here, aka Triple C. And you guys, welcome to this episode of Breakdown the Fight, where I'm gonna be breaking down all the content in the world. And this is brought to you by Jimmy Bars. Here you go, Uncle Cho. Hey! Get your Jimmy on. Gift for me. Thank you, Jimmy. And thank you, Triple C. So what's up everybody, King Triple C here, the Olympic champ, the flyweight champ, and the bantamweight champion of the world. And this is brought to you by Jimmy Bar. It's a non-GMO bar that's allowing people to recover like you wouldn't believe. Triple C's down 15 pounds. Thank you, Jimmy. Go get your damn Jimmy on. To today's episode of Breaking Down the Fight, I'd like to talk about Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. My initial reaction with this fight was okay man we all know that you know my uh, uh conor mcgregor is more likely he has to sit out for six months so why not put the camera on him why not make him the ultimate fighter coach and conor mcgregor is a very smart man because he picked the right opponent michael iron chandler chandler is an entertainer number one chandler likes to throw power and i think it suits conor mcgregor very very well according to this matchup why do i say that is because conor mcgregor does have better striking he's a lot more precise than michael chandler being a southpaw having a guy's gonna go in literally try to take the space is only gonna help conor mcgregor but on this episode of breaking down the fight i do have to say that conor mcgregor does need to go back to his composure number one his stance and his composure the way the kind of how he beat eddie alvarez peppering here pe uh, pe peppering that uh that lead hand i'm sorry to eventually getting get his opponent to come in and then eventually find a strike conor mcgregor's greatest gift is his anticipation can conor mcgregor stop chasing people and just get Ch get michael chandler to come get him to come get him to come and eventually catch him and throw because michael chandler does come aggressive if Conor McGregor can change his stance, is a little more composure and conquer the center and anticipate Michael Chandler, I can easily see him knocking Michael Chandler out. The hell out. Um, but for Michael Chandler, Michael Chandler does have the X factor and it's called wrestling. But can Michael Chandler stop suplexing people? Can he stop using a lot of those explosive movements? Because that's the stuff that's actually getting him in trouble. You see what I'm saying? Michael Chandler will be here, and we can just trip somebody here. Michael Chandler will literally pick somebody up, and he will drop him. He will exhaust all his energy. And But if he does able to get uh, 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 Conor McGregor down, this is where the folk style riding comes in. This is where the Khabib style of controlling somebody, of wrist grabbing, chopping them down, making it more ground and pounding him. I mean, this is where Michael Chandler has to take it. Michael Chandler, you're an entertainer, but being an entertainer doesn't mean it's gonna get you championships. Being an entertainer, being popular, doesn't mean you're the best in the world. Yeah, you may be recognized, you may like the fame, and, 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 and I think you're a good guy. I'm actually cheering for you on this one, but unless you can make those adjustments, man, Conor McGregor will take you out, man. Conor McGregor will, will, will beat you. Go back and think of what is it that's made you successful. It's really wrestling. It's, it's what the sport of wrestling has taught you, especially against a guy who's southpaw, who's a lot more precise, and he's going to be waiting for your blitz steps. So those, those are my takes. I'm breaking down the fight. Michael Chandler versus Conor McGregor. And quick, quickly, obviously we're months and months away from the fight, but do you have any uh, prediction at the time right now with, with what you've seen from both guys? What's your prediction right now? Um, my prediction is Conor McGregor. I believe uh, Michael Chandler could uh, could make those adjustments, but he hasn't made those adjustments yet. Could he make those adjustments? Yeah, I mean, I do want to go for the wrestler, but I think this is the perfect matchup for Connor. I think Connor could, uh, him being away for that long, and I think uh, Michael Chandler, you know, who knows, man? Who knows if, if, if Conor McGregor get into Michael Chandler's head as, as, he ha ha as he did in the past with a lot of people. If he does that, I can see McGregor. I can see McGregor beating him. I, I, I think that's the best matchup for McGregor for him to get to that next title shot. So I think it's smart on his part. Cause that's all you have to do is beat Michael Chandler, and you get the next title shot. So then you wanna you wanna see Chandler go to go to his wrestling and not uh, not try to strike with with McGregor. Yeah, I wouldn't. And I think if he does go to his wrestling, he's gonna have to really break distance with. 
Connor. You don't want to be in Connor's range. Connor does a really good job of anticipating. If you're gonna, if you're gonna strike with Chandler, I mean, if you're gonna strike with Connor, if you're planning on doing that, then you have to really get in there. And you have to really get Connor to go backwards, but catch him with him. But if you're here, if you're in that boxing range, Connor's gonna piece you up. And he, Connor's gonna anticipate you and stick you. Bah! You see what I'm saying? That's something that Connor McGregor does very, very well. He, his gift of, of anticipation. What is anticipation? Anticipation comes right before the counter. I see the movement in his right shoulder. Bop! I'm beating him to it. I don't even have to see him. I don't have to see this hand swing. I just have to see this motion with that shoulder. And once I see that motion with that shoulder, boom, I'm coming in heavy with that right hand. You see, Conor McGregor, if you can make those adjustments, if you're able to work on that, if you're able to conquer the center, conquer the middle, I think this is a great fight for you. I really do. And I think you win this fight. Guess what, Conor McGregor? You can fight for the lightweight title once again. I'm your host. Thank you guys for watching. Triple C. Triple C is out! So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out!